<laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, welcome to uh, an unboxing epic deal special. I am the captain. And I am Danish Pete, and today I'm wearing a hat because Izzy. underneath. I think it's Billy Bob, uh, Billy Bob Hanore. I tell you uh, what, I tell you what, I am, I am flying the flag today for the balls. For the balls. I'm flying the flag for right. balls today. So this video, we have just bought about three hundred thousand. Uh, no, yeah, three hundred thousand. <laughs> about three hundred clearance ESP guitars. I think there are fourteen guitars that we've bought, um, and we're going to do a quick unboxing now. As you know. Uh, ESP is an amazing brand, but probably more synonymous with the sort of the heavier rock and metal guys, which isn't really Pete Nye's bag. So we're not going to do too much jamming today or anything. We're just going to unbox the guitars, spin them around, show you the spec, tell you the deal. The deal. <laughs> <laughs> the epic deal. Uh, and like strummy, strummy, couple of sounds and then strummy, leave strummy, it strummy, to strummy. You. Um, When they're gone, they're gone. Uh, who's going to go first, are Pete? They, when they're gone, are they gone, Lee, then? I'm not are sure they? about that. Do you think? Uh, I, I heard they were gone when they were gone. I mean... Uh, do you want to go first, first come, first, I, I can I go first? I, I, come, I can go first. Well, yes. we, let's simultaneously unbox. Okay. <laughs> Speed but... it up. And we're back in the room, Lee. Ooh. I have got the uh, M403 with the STK S4 staggered single coil here and a Custom 4, Custom 5, Custom 4 pickup humbug in the back. Rosewood fingerboard, three-piece maple neck, bolt on, uh, grower tuners, mahogany body here and a uh, maple cap top. Did you mention what the pickups were? I, I did. Oh, did you? I did. So you had you had your had thing over the head. So stacked single yeah, coil stacked pickups single coils, for which hum cancelling and a custom five humbugger. Yeah, so you're talking about they're roughly 200 to 250 pounds worth of pickups. Yes, and this was 879. So and now it's 499, which is a, an incredible deal. It's got a really slim neck here, uh, 25 and a half inch scale. So it's, I need a noise. It's, uh, we need, need a, a noise, noise every time. Every what? time one of us says the price, I need like a punch uh, noise on this. Like, four ninety nine, four ninety nine, four ninety nine. So what? Down from what? Eight seventy nine. Eight seventy nine. And nice. here is a few tones just with the uh, on the neck. And you can hear if I, I'm in the um, in the JJ. I have Friedman. you the Jerry Cantrell. Absolutely, Mondays. I haven't tried that uh, yet. With I a clean to. tone on the neck, and then with the two put together. Middle position. This is clean, yeah. by the way. The reverb is from the uh, tube amp. Was a craft to turn it down. Expander. And the humbugger. And that's clean, is it? Yeah, that's clean. And here comes the second channel. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. Do it. Will it go out of focus? Probably a bit. Yeah. Mm, never mind. It's it's like the close. There you go. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? It's sort of. There we go. Uh, there are high res images of all these guitars on our website. So if you're sort of thinking, oh, that's nice, but it's a bit blurry, uh, go and have a look there. <laughs> so four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Um, you hit your microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this needs no introduction. Actually, this is the least reduced of all the guitars we've got here. Uh, but it's, it's so P. popular <laughs> and so nice looking, it's still part of the epic deal. So this is an EC256, part of the Eclipse range. So very reminiscent of another guitar brand that makes a is guitar that, that looks a bit is, similar. Is that a total Eclipse? It's a total eclipse of my heart. Um, now, uh, this has been reduced to 349 from 399. The color is lemon drop. Uh, it's that classic kind of faded, uh, late 50s kind of faded burst finish. Mm. Um, why would you buy this over and above um, something like an Epiphone, Les Paul? Well, firstly, I suppose the fact that the, the discount is substantial now on this. Uh, but I would say more importantly, if you want a more contemporary version, so a slimmer neck than a, than a Epiphone would have a slightly thinner body, belly calves that the Les Paul doesn't traditionally have, and additional sort of cutaways on the back here. Um, so here we go. Let's have a quick couple of tones out of this thing. Clean first. I say clean. It's as clean as it goes. You can probably get it a bit cleaner with the coil tap. Or 
avec le ganache. <laughs> so, that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, the first two in our, which way, I keep going, I want to go that way to put it on camera and then it's, it's all back to front in here, isn't it? So that's the first two, look at that top. It's only a veneer top, but the nice thing about veneers in a way is you sort of consistently get epically good flame. Um, but there we are, pretty guitar, mm. and only 349 down from 399. Anyway, Peter, shall we uh, move on? <laughs> Yes, let's do it again. Hang on, on. which way have we got to go? Go, go that way, go. Yeah. Do it again, count me in. One, two, three. <laughs> if my arm just could come in this I'm way. I'm doing it again. Ready? One, oh, two, three. Oh, oh there's the other <laughs> again, the other way. One, two, three. Oh. That's just <laughs> crap. Okay, let's uh, go to the next ones. So, uh, we've uh, jumped up now to the 1000 series from yeah. uh, ESP LTD. Uh, that normally, yes, signifies this is a Korean made guitar. So, deluxe. A substantial jump up uh, in uh, the range. I have got here a mahogany through neck guitar. Oh, look at that! <laughs> you can literally see the reflection of the TV screen in the back me. of the guitar. That's amazing. Um, so, a through neck guitar with this five piece. Uh, construction here, mahogany either side, and koa, a nice koa top. Um, Rosewood fingerboard, locking tuner, uh, and a jazz in the neck, my favorite all time neck pickup from Seymour Duncan, and a pearly gates in the back. So, again, pearly gates being the Billy Gibbons kind of vibe. So, this is a vintage, this is a sort of a Ah, uh, vintage, uh, let's more, yeah, more of a classic rock guitar. Well, coil taps. Uh, hip shot. Is it hip shot or is it hip shot lookalikey? Let's have a it, quick look. I think look. it is hip shot. You've, have you, it looks like. Yeah, um, it is hip shot. Man, this guitar's got again like 300, 400 quids worth of. Is that, are they hip shot tuners or are they. No, they're ESP tuners. No, they're not. I can't even see. I'm going blind, Pete. Mine says L uh, LTD on it, on these ones. Yeah, mine, are, they're ESP tuners. Yeah, ESP tuners. Um, Anyway, so as a uh, some clean tones. This feels lovely to play, I'm just saying. Uh, uh. Both together. Bridge. with some ganache. I can't really play it's the, we're that not kind the, of stuff. Uh, we're not uh, the presenters for this kind of stuff, are we, Lee? No, but uh, <laughs> neck pickup. <laughs> Just classic. Oh, it's a I don't even know where I'm going. Anyway, that's <laughs> enough of that. This reduction, he says, referring to his notes, is whoa, eleven sixty nine down to six ninety nine. No case, just straight out the box. Um, it looks comes a bit like with, Tom Quayle's guitar, doesn't it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, Daddario, string it up, lay it down. That's what they say. Look. String it up, String lay it, it down. down. Lay it down. Lay it down. Uh, it's great. This feels great. As you can see, we're intentionally just taking these straight out the box so you can kind of see what happens not, you know, when they come straight out of the box. That's the dealio, Mr. P. Well, Lee, let me tell you about this uh, M1000MS, which stands for multi scale. As you might see, the frets, it's not the camera, it is multi scale. The frets. This is super light, this guitar. And look at that flame. 
Oh. Take that out. Look. Bosh. Flame Bosh. maple top there on that. Hang on. <laughs> uh, lightweight mahogany, uh, string through body. It's a great Purple heart, maple, purple heart, five piece neck, locking tuners like yours. Uh, ebony, Makasa ebony, uh, Makasa Sukasa ebony fretboard, hip shot tuners. Uh, Nazgul and a sentient. With Wait, a there's a lot of Seymour Duncan USA love here, which is great yeah. because Seymour Duncan USA are my favorite. Well, just saying. Yes. Well, you can say that all day long, Lee. This is a great guitar, and you know what? It used it was twelve hundred and eighty quid around that, and now it's six hundred ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> You're going the wrong way every time. Sorry. I can't get it, man. It's, it's fine. Just, um, it's, uh, but that is how much? It's six ninety nine. I'm sure that's what it said. It's such Shut the almost front door. half price, dude. Cheese and rice. Six ninety nine. Shut the front door. Twelve forty nine it was, and now it's seven hundred quid. One pound less, which you can, and I mean, and that, that okay, is cheap, so isn't it? For, for the uninitiated, mult, the point of multi scale is the pol if you wanted to tune it down lower, if you want to have thicker strings on it, it stays the flat, it doesn't get as flappy up here, right? There we are, it's the solution to yeah. flappiness. And, and, and I tell you what, it feels really nice to play straight out of the box. Um, what's the model number of yours again? Uh, M1000MS. MS, and what was mine? Uh, it says up here. Uh, oh, does it? Yeah, look there. Um, no, the other side. M ah. M one thousand HT yeah. HT for. Uh, well, let's have some hard good tones here. <laughs> Split the, split the coil. And then it's a three-way selector. What well, do you got? The Nazgul and the Sentient? Yes. Are they from Lord of the Rings? You would think so, wouldn't you? You would think so. Can you split them both? Oh, that wants to go, doesn't it? This is no this is no distortion. No, you're on the clean channel. In the clean channel. <laughs> Check that out, man. Okay. That, and then I uh, Nazgul and Sentient combination is very popular on modern high gain is guitars. Is it? Okay. Oh, if you split it, it's not as. Man, I really like this. Let's put some gain on. Man, that sounds good. Yeah, I'm packing up. I'm packing like up. Guitar. I'm packing packing up, up. And going okay. for the next one. We've got Let's two minutes go to get through. Let's go for the next through. one. <laughs> okay. Come on. What yeah. you got? What you got, well, Pete? Well, I have got <laughs> it's a monster eight string. So it's the thousand and eight MS multi scale. Thanks for giving me all your multi scale I, one. I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's basically the same uh, construction as the one we had before. So with the purple uh, heart with the five piece uh, oh. maple purple heart. Purple heart, string through body, yes. uh, sentient and Nazgul, but this time eight strings. Oh. Same here, big hip shot tuner, uh, locking machines, flame maple top. Man, that's a badass looking guitar. It I is mean, a badass I, I guitar. I could this. not play that if you if if you paid. Well, not if you paid me, but I just can't but play eight string what guitars. Is th that's what he's saying. Can you play? Just play dirty. <laughs> you want that bottom, so, what is it, a bottom? F sharp. I mean, I, I, I mean, that so does that does look like it would be like a 1,200 pound guitar. So yeah, what, yeah. What, what is it I, now? I, uh, let me have a look. I, 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 I said it was twelve forty nine, and it's now seven ninety nine. So hot it's just, that hot thing. It's got a split as well. So now 
in all honesty, sorry, go on. You'd kind of be, <laughs> uh, in the way we're kind of explaining it, put your clean channel on, Pete. The, the way we're kind of explaining it is you kind of go, look, we're, we're framing this as like some sort of super down-tuned death metal guitar, but it's not that dissimilar to the guitar that Charlie Hunter plays. I'm sure he plays an eight-string fan fret guitar. Yeah, he does all the... Uh, yeah, and uh, and not dissimilar to what someone like Tozan Abasi would play. And again, so eight-string is a whole different guitar instrument. It's very, you know, although I think maybe the metalers kind of were the first to adopt it, lots of other styles of player have adopted it since. Charlie Hunter, if you've not heard him, go yeah, and check yeah. him out. He'll, well, be, he'll blow be, your mind. That would be like... He does a lot of the, the walking bass lines yeah, like with the jazz chords over the top, doesn't he? Now you know why I gave you the eight string. <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> Oh man, it's difficult because you—it's it's really you just have to get used to that. You got, you know, but it's so—it's so alien to the fingers yeah. because it seems like the strings are also much closer. Well, look, so you that's know, so the uh, the eight string. I think it's the only yeah. eight string on the Epic deal. So if you, well, again, lovely, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. Whether you're thinking about just super drop tuned metal or you want to experiment with some of you, you know, some Charlie Hunter style playing, maybe. That's I a mean, good this, introduction without, is, I mean, it's still not, you know, it's still a reasonable uh, expensive purchase, yeah. but it's, what, 500 quid less than it would have been. Yeah, the gorgeous <laughs> guitar, man. Feels lovely out of the box. Yeah. I was gonna say. All, is that still, so that'd be Korean again, won't it, I think? Yep. Yeah. Anyway, moving on, the Viper. The Viper, as you see here, Viper's kind of like an offset SG I vibe. Like that. Um, I think I first saw Phil X playing ESP Vipers way back when. Um, this particular model is part of, um, I think they call it the Black Metal or something like that series. And all, all the, the famous ESP shapes are available in this like satin black with a single pickup. Um, I thought they were all about a thousand pounds a pop, but according to our website, this one has been reduced from 700-ish down to 499, 719 down to 419. Mm. I, I'm going to be, I'm going to put this out there. I'm not even sure that was price isn't a little low. I, as I said, I thought all these were, were more than that. But anyway, it's the Black Metal Deluxe 7 string. So the extra string is now thrown in for free. And it has a Seymour Duncan blackened Black Winter. Like the Black Winter humbucker wasn't black enough, so they blackened it. <laughs> Um, and this is what, it, I don't think there's any coil tappage, no. So it's just, just a volume, on. no tone, so. I need something haunting, let's put extra reverb on. That's it, I went major. <laughs> oh God, I can't play these guitars. Anyway, <laughs> Avec Le Ganache. I don't I'll know tell what, you what I'm doing, I'll tell you Pete. What, Lee, you need to buy one of these guitars and then practice, or just buy I, any guitar and I, practice. I, <laughs> uh, no, I really, I don't, I would, I wouldn't. Well, look, this would be fun to have one of these. Someone is watching this video, going, "Holy moly, that is a wicked-looking guitar," and I could rock that, but it's not doing much in the hands of the captain. Let me give you the spec. What does 499 get you these days? What does 499 get you these days? 25 and a half inch scale length, set through neck, uh, mahogany body, mahogany neck, Macassar ebony, fretboard, black satin. Uh, just, that's it. You don't need to know anything else, do you? Uh, and I'm just gonna say that these satin guitars are a bit of a bugger to, to get the finger marks off. So if you get serial number, IW1812139 they're my finger marks and it was this guitar but you um, used the 
hand sanitizer first, right? I totally did. I'd never yeah. go anywhere without sanitizing my uh, extremities. Hold right. On All right. Next. Moving on. Au revoir. Right. Here we go. ESP MH400. Now. God, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> According to the special offers, one of us will also have this guitar in exactly the same, but with a hardtail rather than a Floyd oh, on it. Oh, well, that's... Um, but it's an arch top. Can you see in the lights? See the light. It's a little arch top. Um, according to the specification... Specification, is. It is. Written by the beautiful Elliot Stent, according to our website. Beautiful. A mahogany body, a mahogany top in a natural satin finish with... This through neck design, three piece maple through neck design, pow ferro fretboard, pow! <laughs> uh, <laughs> 24 <laughs> frets, 25 and a half inch scale length, and the important bit is a Seymour Duncan Jazz for yes. the win, and a, a custom five for the uh, bridge, and no splittingness. Uh, we've got a locking uh, Floyd Rose system here, a Floyd Rose special system, and it sounds... Sounds a little bit like this. Nothing wrong with that. I Absolutely mean, it's, not. it's one of the more affordable ones. So this has been reduced. It has been reduced from 799 to 499. What can you get for 499 that's going to have American Seymour Duncan pickups on it? Nothing. I that's don't know. What, well, this basically. Um, yeah, cool pickups, through neck, very, very cool. Uh, normal oh, Grover tuners. Um, got the taint here, just there. Uh, I've got that on mine as well, like a little skateboard uh, jump. Bound, bound fretboard. I mean, bound. What's there not to, it's a great sounding guitar. Mm. Um, I should try and do some more. I wouldn't necessarily say this is an out and out metal guitar. This is just like a, a rock machine. In and out. Uh, could be. I like it. There is nothing wrong with that. No? Brown is definitely the new black for 2020. What have you got, Mr. Pete? Check this out. Take that flame out. That is a beautiful with looking a flamey, guitar. A flamey uh, headstock matching. I've got the uh, TE401 with EMG pickups. Active EMGs. Uh, it's got a 60 in the neck and an 80 in the bridge. No coil splits and a three-way selector. So that's kind of what it is. In a T-style shape with a I'll bounding... Let, I'll let you have it, that one. Bind it, 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 bind it. I let you have the T-style because I knew if you went more than four guitars without playing a T-style, <laughs> you'd have a nervous breakdown. And a nervous breakdown. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really nice. Um, it's a neck through. Uh, is it? Yeah, uh, set, what is it called? Neck through. Well, is it all the way through or is it set through? It's, like? it's, I think it's all the way through. Let me just check on that. Uh, no, it's not a neck through. Sh I, uh, string through, that's what it was. No, that's talking about the body. String I know. through. I know that. It's a oh, string so through. So I read it wrong. A, right, it's a set neck. Yeah, yeah set I read neck. it wrong. Yeah, I so, see. Uh, but Rosewood fingerboard. Oh. So here is... Uh, I mean, that's just a clean. Two humbuckers on a on a T-style hardtail guitar is such a quality rock machine. It's a yeah. modern, contemporary, rock solid, proper chug machine. And it looks a chug machine. It looks <laughs> like they're a bit closer together. 
I don't know if it's just me. Does it look like they're a bit closer together? It does. There's a little bit of an extra gap between that back pickup and the bridge. Yeah. A little bit more bass end on the uh, on the bridge pickup. Yeah. Maybe. Well, let's see. So here's the front anyway. So. <laughs> I do feel like, I don't know if you're feeling the same thing, that the strings uh, seems closer together. Does the, do you feel that on yours? No, not really. I oh, mean, maybe, maybe, it's just, just, maybe it's just me. I uh, think it's because you've now played that eight string. You can't go back to a six string. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're going to have to, to change your whole collection over to eight string guitars. Oh God, that's going to be a task. Okay, back, both pick up together. That wants to go, doesn't it? The bridge, that's an 80. So if I... That's very kind of almost single coil, isn't it? Were you going into Here I Am, Rock Me Like a Hurricane? It was close, wasn't it? Was it was close. It was close. <laughs> it's almost got a strat, steady single yeah. coil. <laughs> a bit more gain. <laughs> what did you say that had a 60 and an 80 on it? Yeah, 60 in the in the front and an 80 in the now, back. Now again, Paul, my EMG knowledge isn't uh, me th me neither. brilliant. Me neither. But the classic uh, classic set is the 8085, right? Or is I it 8185? So. 8185, isn't it? 8185. Mm. So I, think. I wonder. I wonder if this is just a lower output uh, I set would of EMGs. Think that's what it means. Yeah. The anyway, neck, the neck is beautiful. The frets are just. It's it's really nice. And so price wise, we are talking. It was seven ninety nine, and it's now four ninety nine. Again. Uh, again, five hundred quid. For this guitar, you can't get anything for that kind of dough with American branded pickups on it. Again. No, and, uh, and Rosewood bought all that stuff. I mean, I, I, it's a gorgeous guitar. Okay, go. go. I want to break free. I want, want to, to break, break free from this life. I'm so self-satisfied. I don't need you. Okay, so we are back in the room, and I am now holding... Boom, a, boom, shake the room. I'm holding what is also known as a snapper. Ah. I'm not sure where, where that name came from. It's a fish. Is it? It's another name for a fish. A red snapper is a kind of fish. Yeah, a red snapper, uh, it's a fish. I mean, this is, uh, I don't know if you can see, this is pearlescent white. Pearlescent. What? It's got a little metallic fleck. Yeah, it's got in metallic it. flakes in it, mm. but you can't really see that. But that looks really, really what's cool. The, what's the trim system Pearl on there? Is it like a Wilkinson? It's or? a Wilkinson, and the reason why I haven't put the arm in is because it's you have to uh, you do, do, do little, little Allen key to put in the back. And we don't there. have time. We're flying through the demos. Yeah, here. we're flying through the, the demos. Uh, Five-way selector, maple neck, locking tuners, older body. It's quite light for an older body. That's everything I would want on a guitar. Like a decent vintage style trim, locking tuners, HSS, Seymour Eight Duncan. Is it Seymour Duncan? It's they're all Seymour Duncans. So it's a TB14 uh, in the bridge here, and it's an SSL. Um, now I know the SSLs. What was the bridge one? Is it a TB14? Oh, you'll have to tell me what the the silly name for it is. I don't know what. No, that, that's just. I'm, that's I'm not good the, with the codes. I mean, that is the co that's, that's the, the code, name is it? that it says TB14, SSL threes here. Yeah, and Nickel Threes, maybe? Yeah, I think the SSLs are the sort of the vintage ones. I don't know. TB, is that a trembucker? Maybe it is uh, a trembucker, Lee. Maybe it is. It doesn't I, well, say. Well, there we go. We, yeah. better have a, we better have a listen. I'm sure that somebody will tell us in the description. Uh, that is a great looking kind of cool super strat, isn't it? I like think a, it's like really a cool. Charvelli kind of vibe rather yes, than again neck a sort is, of a, a modern thing. The neck is very uh, charvelli uh, with a flat radius board. I'm and getting got really a used to doing videos where we're not in the same room, Pete. I don't yeah. like it as much, but I am getting used to it. It's, it's, it's better. We're getting there. 
Um, yeah. Where's this made? This is also made in Korea. You know really? what? I like this. That's a, that's a that's a top spec one. Then. It's a top spec one, uh, and it's it's got the little it's got mm. a tiny little the recess recess here. It's got a that, that color. This color is great, man. I How like it. How much was that? Uh, it was uh, it was eight ninety nine, and it's now five ninety nine. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> Wow, so that's, um, that's not bad, is it? Five ninety nine for for good. I mean, again, the neck is quite slim for me. Two hundred and fifty quid's worth of pickups on there again, probably. Must be, yeah, maybe two hundred. It's just got that nice strat tone, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, that was just yep. the neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the two together. It's a proper strat. They're not the noiseless ones, the SSL ones from memory, so they're just very vintage strats. Low outputs, I yeah. think they're three, so like they must it. be Alnico threes. Yep. Uh, here's the middle. <laughs> I think if I have to criticise anything on this... No. Uh, We're trying to sell these peaks. I know, but it's just, I would put tens on here. Right. It feels like nines. It feels yeah. really slink, uh, slinky and snappery. Um, so, and also... I can't see what it's It feels there, slinky and snappery. Yeah, snappery. So, anyway, uh, moving on to the two bridge in the middle together. <laughs> And then the back. This is funny. Has Why? that got a crazy low action? Because it sounds like a little... No, yeah, crazy low action. It's funny because... Um, I always feel these back humbuggers have got a little bit less output for some reason. It's I the wonder same if it's in my just... Cutlass. Uh... But I don't know. Let's you know put what some, you need. Uh, I would wind those pickups, the single coil ones, in a little bit and try no, and balance. No, they're the right place. Well, no, but you want them balanced. I, would, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I think they're, they're, they are a little louder, especially the bass ends a lot louder. But a little louder, louder now. But a little bit louder now. Let's hear some uh, Dane. I'm done. Um, okay, this is the H401. It's another kind of arch top um, mahogany finished guitar. Look at that belly cut. What kind of a weirdo has a belly shape like that? Uh, there we are. We've got it in. It's a big <laughs> old belly cut on there. <laughs> Me. I've kind of never seen one like that before. It's um, a very. It's a very. It's uh, more of a sort of a like an upper it's like that like moob cut. Um, <laughs> Set neck, or well, this set through design, so it kind of feels like a through neck, but it isn't, it's a set neck. Um, hip shot style, so it's, it's a copy of a hip shot uh, bridge. Um, Pal Ferro fretboard, I like the inlays on this, I've not seen these before. Look, you've got this like piano key, so like white, black, white kind of inlays, which I like. It's three a side headstock, so a little bit different to the Super Strat that we had before. And again, American, uh, see what I'm gonna pick up. Uh, the Jazz, and this time a custom, well, actually custom five. I think we had that before, didn't we? No, um, s what do you call it? Coil tappage. I'm gonna have to take the condom off the pickup. I mean, 
it's, you, you, it's almost impossible to get a bad sound out of an American Seymour <laughs> Duncan picker. <laughs> That wow. is another one of the ones that's come down from seven ninety nine to four ninety nine. Um, that's probably one of my favourites so far. I rather like the look of that. I think these kind of natural satin finishes, they're going to get sort of battle scarred and sort of you know digest bits of your DNA as you kind of slam through your uh, set list. Uh, and it's sparkle. the only thing I think you've just got to be slightly careful around small children, because you remember what teachers used to say in the playground? Be careful with that head stop. Take someone's eye out with that. Oof. Um, <laughs> See how we move on, Lee? Let's move on. Let's move okay, on. Okay, bye. Ready? Yes. Steady. Go! So, yeah, that's... Ow! Ah! Man <laughs> down, man <laughs> down! <laughs> Actual blood! Actual blood! Oh, no! <laughs> Dude, it's your signature ESP! It is. Zero number, IS1906-2731. Oh, Peter Honore. Hey, man, check this out. That is the best looking guitar of the lot. <laughs> it's so light as well. How many strings has it got? Seven. Oh, it's yeah. just... It's a baritone as well. could so have been your next guitar if it had just had one less. So, tell us about that. All right, there okay, are four I need more guitars to, yes. to go. This one, the purple one, and two more after that. Pete. I need to start. Lee, Holy mother I don't of have, Mary. I don't have a seven string guitar, Lee. I don't have a second string, seven string guitar. And I can think of no better one for it to be than this. <laughs> so it's what? It's baritone scale length. Yeah. Seven strings. Seven strings. Fishman, Fishman loaded. Yeah. Is it a Korean one? It is a Korean one, yeah. I mean, that sh by rights should be like 1,500 quid. Well, you're not far off. It was, uh, well, 12.49, so the seam ought to be 12.49, it's now 699. It is the famous um, uh, film director, <laughs> Stephen Carpenter's signature. Oh, yeah. You know, he, he is, he, he's like Stephen King and... Um, he was, it? wasn't Stephen Carpenter, <laughs> wasn't he? He was one half of the Carpenters, wasn't he? Yeah, he his, was. He he's was. the signature Carpenter's signature. He is. So. This uh, is, no, honestly, even I know who uh, Stephen Carpenter is. Isn't he more known as Steph Carpenter as well? But anyway, yes. he's the Deftones guitar player. Yeah. Um, and I'll be honest with you, that is, I don't mind a bit of Deftones. So, um, I mean, this is a monster of a guitar. It is. It, that I, is a wicked colour. It's a matte finish. Um, Matt Finish. Matt he Finish. He was, which, no, I think he was the, he was the <laughs> first uh, editor, the director of uh, the films that Stephen Carpenter used Marty, to Matt Finish. Film. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, uh, yeah, so it's a 27 scale 27 guitar. inch. 27 inch. We just saw a man uh, on a towel that looked a bit like. <laughs> yeah, it looked a bit like that. And uh, he, so it's a mahogany body. It says, it's a, a three piece maple neck with a thin U, Makasa Ebony. And uh, 24 frets. Wow, 24 frets. Just play, Pete. I'm bored Next already. Through the I, know. I just like the colour and the sound. And it's his sickness of pickup as well. So oh, is it? So it's a, fl a Fishman? <laughs> uh, it's a Fishman Stephen Carpenter yeah. seven string pickup. It is. is it switch. That'll be the voice switch rather than a coil. Well, this is what it? we're about, I'm guessing. If, about to find think, out. I don't think you can coil. <laughs> It's just fat when it's out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know any death tones. I'm really sorry to all you death fans out there. It's just chuggy, chuggy ring. I need to suck around this, doesn't it? Because it... <laughs> you need to what? It sucks to put a sucker oh, on there. Sock. 
That is so good. I'm going a double fisted punch. Ready? One. Oh. <laughs> I like that a lot. This is a cool guitar, man. This is really cool. This is super cool. Damn it. Can I see the back of it? You can. Oh, it's a lot of purple. Yeah. I, it's a great colour. I mean, it's, I can't, I, I'm never going to play a seven string in my life, but that colour is, uh, oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure why I would have one to play, but it's just, I don't have one. It's just fun, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's just fun, it's just a bit of fun. I'm waiting for it. You know, you never know, I might learn something new. You might do. Well, okay, so that's the wow. Steph car. Is it 607, did you say that was? What's uh, the it model is number? the, uh, yeah, 607 607B. Because it's a baritone uh, scale. And what's how much? 699? 699. Flip me. Okay, um, <laughs> here we go. Uh, I, I'm, I promise you I'm not just getting the same guitar out of a box every single time to show you. <laughs> yeah, uh, like it stuff. does look like it. This is the MH400. So lots of similarities to the previous models here <laughs> in terms of the body woods and stuff. But now we've got the six aside pointy headstock uh, and the, um, what is this? This is like a, a, a bridge off of a, of, of a Les Paul or a Gibson, but strung through the body. I've got the same. Um, Heavy old brake angle on the strings as they go over the bridge, so I guess that'll affect the sort of the tone and same the tension. Here. Oh, same here. here. You have, yeah. Um, Seymour Duncan Jazz and Custom Five. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yeah, so same on all these ones here. Same deal as well. Reduced from seven ninety nine to four ninety nine. Um, and oh, that sounds nice, man. Not, again, good all-round guitar. Anybody looking to buy a, a sort of a mid-priced 500 pound guitar should consider one of these ones with the same what I'm gonna pick up in it. They're so good. Here's some dirt. <laughs> You can't. <laughs> oh, I should remind you all as well, these are all coming straight out the box. Um, got good strings on them, they feel nice to play. I think, you know, you tweak to your preference. Some people like the action a little bit lower, some people might want it a little higher, uh, some people might want heavier strings, but on the whole, you could just take these out of the box, tune them up, and give them a play. So there we go. This is the MH400. Um, I think it's worth mentioning on that one that Pete had again, that came with a case Ooh, at 699. Yeah, it like comes a with a really case. nice case as you well. You saw that when I opened it up there. Um, yeah, this is a really nice ESP case. Uh, right, I can I like, feel we're in the home straight now, Pete. I like this. This is fun. This is fun. Anyway, we're in the home straight. I just think that's a, one of the best looking colours of guitar I've seen in a all long time. Year. Yeah, this uh, is a good purple. Fifty okay. shades of purple. Last ones. Let's move on. Let's go. Okay, last ones. Uh, we've both got guitars in cases now. Yeah. Oh my goodness I'm me. Gonna, I'm gonna unbox it down there on the floor. <laughs> I can't even lift this up. Oh, they're quite heavy. Oh. Oh. These are great cases. They are lovely cases, man. <laughs> There's a clue for you all. There's a clue. Come on. So these are like, <laughs> long term listeners of this dreadful YouTube channel will know what guitar this is about to be. And if you don't already, I'll give you another clue. Go! 
Look at that! That is fabulous looking. Oh, but, got but Lee, buttons and everything. I'm not. I know that that guitar. But check this out. Look oh, at that color. I've, that is a. If there was a fight now between these two guitars, I don't know who my money would be on. But I'm guess. No, I'm going with mine. That is a wicked looking guitar. Yeah. Um, having said that, though, yours has got. I've never seen a combination of pickups quite like that. Or at least not in that order. That's no, pretty cray cray. I want to hear what the point of that is. Well, that. Why are you asking me? <laughs> Well, while Pete's looking it up, what I will tell you about Pete's guitar, and this is a bit weird, because obviously at some point in the, the last year or two, ESP have shipped that guitar with a case, and then at another time they've shipped it without a case. Yes. So actually on the Anderson's website, if you go there, if you're quick and you get there now, you'll see this guitar appear twice, one with a case and one without a case, and there's about a hundred pound difference between the two. Uh, but just in case you're wondering, other than that, they are identical. It's just... It's a hundred quid case. more for the for the case. I think that's a good deal, to be honest. The case is it's well a, worth the hundred pounds. I would agree with you on that one. It's an older body with a uh, neck through body, uh, neck so neck through body through neck, but you know, which also body continues through, through, on the thing. Body. It's got the uh, what do you call it? Contoured top there. I like it. And then see this. This is I can't really see why. Uh, what his plan was with that? Well, his plan was just to look wicked and yeah, have an well, extra amazing. humbucker and just in the have, middle, have just something because. That, yeah, so it's two ESP designed pickups here, right? Um, and and then Seymour Duncan in the bridge. My ears are getting sweaty. What's the Seymour Duncan? Uh, the Seymour Duncan is a JB. Oh, Steph Carpenter! He's only yeah. gone and pulled it out right at the last. This is the best one. Yeah, uh, the best Seymour Duncan bridge pickup there is. And this is an SLS one twenty N and an LH. I don't uh, know much about those. I don't know. You'll their have designs. to just demonstrate yeah. them. Yeah. So, so it's a normal scale length six string guitar. Yeah, with a five way selector, volume and tone. I would assume. Let's see what it sounds like. Neck pickup here. It's nice and fat. That's with a, the Dane on top. I don't think this is designed to play really high gain. Ah. It doesn't, I think it'll squeal when you put some too much high gain on it. Let's go to, I'm just do the pickups one at a time mm -hmm. and then blend them. It's darker. That's your middle Much one. Darker. That's an interesting mid-humpy uh, sound on that, isn't it? Compared to that. And then a JB. Yes. Is that oh. amp distortion or pedal distortion? That's my pedal distortion. Yeah, Let's try to the amp, amp, distortion. amp distortion here, so f neck. Middle. I really like that. Brits. Um, I don't think there's enough of a difference between those two humbuckers in terms of the sound to sort of warrant having them both well, on. Well, I think there. when it's clean, you hear the difference better. Let me go in the, in the split. In the, yeah, let me go in, in both of them. Oh, it sounds like a split or something, doesn't it? It sounds like it splits one of them. Yeah. Maybe it splits both of them. We need uh, Mr. Carpenter to come on and explain yeah. why he needed this particular configuration. I've never seen this this before. No, neither have I. And 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 the fact is that the that this is angled like a back pickup on a on a telly. Well, what is that? I mean, again, that's putting more. The way it's angled is putting more bass on the bass end and yeah. more treble on the treble end. Yeah. Yeah. But it is very. I like the sound of it. I do like that neck pickup. It's almost piazza.
It's gorgeous. I love the colour. The colour is great. He picks so we're going to sell colors. all of those to Ireland. I know we are. <laughs> and next St. Patrick's Day, they're all going to go down the street drinking Guinness and playing their green guitars. Um, how much was that then? Locking tuners as well. Can you focus? It's very unfocused. Unfocused? Out of focus. Mm, mm, no. uh, it was, um, again, it's made in Korea and it was um, 1,100 quid and it's now 6.99. Bonkers. So that is not a bad Bonk, deal for that. And that, that. 6.99 is the one with the case. That's the one with the case. And then right. if, if you want it without wow. the case. Oh, 5.99. Yeah. I think it's smashing. I really like that guitar. I use the word smashing. That's like from. Ew, darling, this smashing. Bullseye <laughs> with Jim Bowen. <laughs> anyway. You just won a speedboat. Um, anyway. Right. This. Last one. Well done for sticking with us all the way through this epic deal. There was a lot fest. of guitars, man. And there were a lot of guitars. This is the BK600. Oof. BK, not Burger King, but Bill Kelleher yes. of the band Mastodon, who has an Eclipse style guitar in a satin finish. It's the full fatness one. Look at this. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, that is fat. It's like two guitars glued together fat. this way. Fat. Um, although reasonably heavy, but not insane. Satin finish. Uh, mm. Lace sensor pickups. Now, Lace sensor uh, was one of the first uh, guys in the 80s, I think, to do that whole noiseless single coil pickup. And you might have seen them on all the original sort of Fender Deluxe strats. What, first name Lace, second name yeah. sensor? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know why it's called Lace Sensor, uh, but these it's an are figure name, isn't the it? Dissonant Aggressor pickups. Dissonant Aggressor. And I don't believe these are active, even though you might think they are, because you can coil split them and there's nowhere on the back for a battery to go. And the spec on our website, I've just seen, says they're passive. Um, <laughs> so they must be. Normal uh, Les Paul scale length, so 24 and 3 quarter inch. Um, comes with this case um, and would have originally cost you, wait for it, drum roll please, $12.79 and they're now $7.99. So that's the most expensive guitar uh, from, the, from the price that it was before. Yeah. Taps. Ah, there you go. I confused myself there, of course, because if I remember right. Now, one of them, one of them t t turns off the tone, so you can't roll it, right? Isn't that how no, it is? I, I'm now beginning to think, hold on. Yes, because ESP always do this and confuse me. ESP yes, you around, yeah. <laughs> uh, often consider the primary pickup on their guitars would be the bridge one, so they tend to make the control, the first control, be the bridge one. Uh, and that always confuses me because Gibson do it the other way around. But anywho, but, so... But when Fender does the four five-way switch, this position yeah. one back there, doesn't make it? any sense, does it? So there's your, there's your uh, co coil split uh, bridge pickup. Do the same up here. Ooh. With gain, because let's be honest, that's what people do. Oh, I like that. It's quite a quacky kind of, uh, maybe that must be a, a lace sensor kind of thing. Nice bass end. Yeah, that's fat. 
That is as fat. a fat guitar, man. That is fat. It looks fabulous too. Uh, lovely case, and again, I think it's presumably a Korean one, is it? Yeah, Korean mm. one. Got Bill's moniker on the back here. Bill and Monica. Remember those two got up to no good in the White House, didn't they? Uh, but anyway. Um, <laughs> what does he say? Sack my cook and make me a sandwich, what was it? Some, I think that's what he said, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hold, wow. hold my coals and sack the cook. Locking. Sack the cook and hold my coals or something. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it? That's what he said, wasn't it? Honestly, bring back Bill Clinton. Just, yeah, completely misunderstood, but uh, he shouted to the door. Locking tuners and... <laughs> um, and anything else that you like. Yes, uh, it's there beautiful. There we are. Well, all, Mr. Pete. Well, Mr. Lee, all the links of, of all these uh, lovely guitars are, of course, in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching. Yeah. And, and the uh, way our website works is once we sell the last one, it should just disappear off of the website. So if you can't find some of these, then that's what's happened. But um, link some of them, there's quite a few of. You know, Some of them, there's 30 or 40 of or whatever. So you yeah. might just find that they last a little bit longer. Some of them, there's only like five of. So yeah. just... Um, Dive on over, you know, it's payday. Which we, one is your we, favorite? Um, well, I mean, for a player like myself, I'm probably gonna lend towards something like the Snapper or, or this one, or, yeah. uh, or even that, um, even that, T, that TE401. Yeah. Um, in terms of looks, the purple, <laughs> purple one <laughs> is a winner, and that's second. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same, same. I like the snapper. That was yeah. a great guitar. But I do think, in terms of popularity, those three or four um, just wooden, like wood finish ones with the two humbuckers on them, uh, the 499 ones. Yeah. Great value. There's really nothing. You know, you look at every other brand of that type of guitar, whether it's, um, you know, Jackson or Ibanez or Schecter or whatever, and you won't get that spec guitar for less than seven or eight hundred quid. So, hey, hey, go for it. Go for it. Do Go it. Go for it. Do, do it. it now. Do it. While stock lasts. Do it. Whilst we like to do that. Bye bye. Oh, well, this thing. Go on. <laughs> um, gain. Avec le ganage. I don't know what I'm playing. To f Pete. <laughs> <laughs> the shaft. <laughs> Shield. <laughs> <Shumon>. <laughs>